Neurodiverse individuals are especially vulnerable to things like procrastination. We know this from multiple studies. And also when I'm working with dyslexic adults on a one-on-one -on -one basis, this is something that comes up quite frequently. So if this is you, know that you're not alone with it. I'm gonna start this video by giving you a definition of procrastination. Then we're gonna take a look at the mechanism that is at work when we procrastinate. Afterwards, we're taking a closer look at the connection to neurodiverse conditions. And at the end, I'm gonna tell you what you can do about it. Okay, sounds good. Then let's get into it. The definition that I'm going to give to you, I found on Audible while I was listening to a set of lectures by Dr. Seo Wang. These lectures are absolutely great, so I definitely recommend you having a look at them. And this is how she defines it. Procrastination is a common self-regulation problem involving the unnecessary and voluntary delay in the start or completion of an important intended task, despite the recognition that this delay might have negative consequences. An important takeaway from this definition is that delay does not equal procrastination, because for it to be true procrastination, it needs to be unnecessary. And often when you delay something, you have a good reason for doing so. So we shouldn't beat ourselves up about that. Okay, what else is going on when we procrastinate? And for that, let's have a closer look at the first part of our definition. Namely, procrastination is a common self-regulation problem. Or in other words, when you're faced with a certain task, there are a lot of negative feelings that you're experiencing and you don't know what to do with them. Procrastination is a way out in that situation. You know, you go and play a game, you do something else, you watch TikTok or something along those lines, and that serves as a solution for those negative feelings. Albeit only in that moment, you don't have to think anymore about those tasks that make you feel uncomfortable. So your procrastination behavior is being rewarded. You get a temporary relief of those negative feelings. And the problem with this is that the next time you experience these negative feelings, you become more likely to choose procrastination as a short-term solution. When you are reflecting about this topic, remember that procrastination may affect your productivity, but at its core, it is an emotional issue. So what does all of this have to do with conditions like dyslexia, ADHD, or autism? Well, individuals with these diagnoses generally experience higher stress levels, and also anxiety levels tend to be higher than in the general population. And that means that there are just a lot more emotions that need to be dealt with. And if that becomes overwhelming, then procrastination becomes more likely. Imagine, for example, a dyslexic having to read a long work report. He or she will most likely have to deal with all kinds of negative feelings. This has to do with the fact that dyslexics often experience failure after failure in school and therefore their self-image is being affected. So the dyslexic might think, I can get this done in time anyway. The result is that this person becomes more likely to procrastinate on this specific task. For an autistic person, this procrastination cycle might be triggered by the task of having to network. And tasks that are repetitive and mindless can become very difficult for people with ADHD. So now that we know what's going on when we procrastinate, what can we do about it? Well, in essence, you need to find different and improved ways to deal with your emotions. A good place to start is to look at meditation, um, mindfulness, and self-compassion. And there's one exercise in particular that I would like you to try. I want you to write a letter to yourself and to imagine that you are your best friend. This will help you to be less judgmental towards yourself. And if you are, emotionally hard times will be easier to manage. Let me know if procrastination is something that you struggled with in the past or right now in the comments below. And if you liked the video, give it a like. See you in the next one.